Welcome back to Book Bingers, the podcast where two best friends talk about books, wingspans, and like any trope you can think of, book boyfriends. And right all, now, all we have a lot of like making up to do because do. we haven't recorded in a hot minute. It's almost now, a to you guys, it's been zero time. Zero time has passed. <laughs> but for us, it's been a month. Yeah. It's been a minute. I had surgery. Quite a bit has happened. Oh, yeah, I had yeah. I had some major surgery. I had to do some recovering. Um, our kids are out of school. Our kids are out of school. It is now summer. And here we are, just hoping that they're going to be quiet upstairs. <laughs> so if there's any interruption. Yeah, we're in this, June now. Yeah, we are in full summer mode. We're in full summer mode. Mm-hmm. And we are, what, 11 days into June? Yeah. So how many, you just told me you've read 11 books. 11 books. I'm on my 10th book. I was like about to make fun of her. I'm like, you nerd, but I'm on my 10th book. No, yeah. Okay. So, so I have no pretty, pretty spot on. Yeah. I was like, hold on, let me count. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, in that one. only oh, finished one. nine. I'm halfway through my 10th. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's been, I'm surprised. Yeah, there's, I, there's some good reads. For as much as we have been complaining about our kids being home, somehow we've yeah. managed to still read basically a book a day. Yeah, it's fine. It's because I'm not going out and doing anything. So in between playing with yeah. them, I'm reading. Yeah, it's a lot of me having to start and stop. Mm-hmm. Like that's the that's the bummer is yeah. usually they were at school and yeah. I could just immerse so myself. Uh-huh. Um, and now it's a lot of like a uh, couple chapters having to do sidewalk chalk. A couple more chapters. Now they want to go in the pool. A couple more chapters and now it's dinner time. Yeah. You know what so, I mean? So like, um, as you can tell, I've read a lot of like romances yeah, lately same. because those are easy to up and down. Same, same, same. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about you've read 11 books. Have they all been great? Have they? Have there been any poopers? Huh. Are we? Where are we at in the five star, four star, three star? You no, know, I had any DNFs. I had no DNFs. That's great. I had one that is like, I think is going to be a new like I recommend it <gasps> all the time. It is romance or it a is fantasy? sci-fi. Oh, oh wait, it's the one you told me about. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's start with that one because you were like, this is it, and we weren't okay. We weren't sure because yeah, we've because decided book talk kind of sucks butt. Correct. And I was on an algorithm where I was seeing all of these reviews yeah. for this book. Yeah. Five stars. Five, five stars. stars. It's amazing. Which usually when I hear the same typical big book talkers, I'm like, oh, eh, fake. Right. Which I was duped by one what we'll get to. But you. So then I went to try start. to find like I couldn't even get the physical book on Amazon because it was like back ordered. And yeah. then I went on like Libby and no one had it. And then all of a sudden I look on Amazon and it was 99 cents on sale. I should have bought it when it was on. It that. might still be on sale. I sh- yeah, I should. Truly. You I should. really think that the way you were talking about it, it should be Corey's next read. Yeah. I really think. I really yeah. think that he would, it would be right up his Okay. Head. Let's. Okay. What's the book? The book. <laughs> Is Artificial Wisdom by Thomas Weaver. And it is a sci-fi political murder mystery thriller. Yeah. That is so... You've become a sci-fi girly. Yeah, I've opened up that, that like, area of my brain. That portal. Is, like, very happy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a comfort, it's a new comfort place I love this. Yeah. Uh, So this takes place in, like, 2050. And the tech is just very cool. Yeah. To the point that it feels like it could be real. Is it AI-ish? So there is AI. And let me set the scene. So a couple years ago, there was this gigantic climate disaster that killed like 100 million Already people. Already sounding real. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And so the world collectively decided that they needed to hire a dictatorship mm-hmm. position. So a previous, a former U.S. president is running. Okay. And in the final two is him versus the first AI politician. Mm. And if you've read Scythe, <laughs> <laughs> the AI reminds me very much of the Thunderhead. Yeah. And the the book reminds me of like one of those Russian nesting dolls Ooh. where there's just like, like keep, there's a mystery a reveal, inside a reveal. mystery inside a mystery. And like every time you think you get an answer... It just leads you down another path. Ooh. So it kept me guessing literally the whole time to the point that like, I don't even think that you would get the actual I final I love twist. that. Yeah. It I was want. Because the whole time I was like, 
I know what it is. This is easy. Oh, I know. Oh. Well, I like sci-fi and I love mystery. Put the two together. Is there any romance plot? There is a little, but it's very, it's a side. It's a is side it a plot. series or is this a standalone? This is his, I think this is his first book and it's Ever? a standalone. Yeah. And you're giving it a five yeah. stars? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. I don't generally read men yeah. anymore. No, I know. I have a, I read a couple boys this month. Ooh, boys club. I know. Wow. Um, okay. So I'm going to have to go 99 cents. Yes. That's... If it's still on Amazon for 99 cents. Uh, yesterday when I checked, it was still 99 so cents. So Book Talk so... got this one right. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Which was like just really nice to finally what, is not it be a, led astray. Is it a chunky book? Uh, you know what? I read it on my Kindle. So yeah. I really don't know. You finished it in a day? Finished it in a day. Okay. Yeah. So not. I would say it took me about six-ish hours yeah yeah that's great so it'll take you know anywhere from six to ten hours yeah that's not bad yeah no i love a i love a five to seven hour and it keeps it the plot really moves quickly oh exciting yeah that sounds great Mm -hmm. i got duped (laughs) by talk. (laughs) yeah let's talk about that thanks Um, for doing the work on this one boy it was a chunker uh i read when the moon hatched by sarah a parker and when I tell you, everyone and their mom was like, this is the next best fantasy. This is it. This is the fantasy that's going to change your life. Yeah. If you like Fourth Wing, this is for you. If you like Throne of Glass, this is for you. If you like Dragons, this is for you. Why on my list for so long. was this none of that? <laughs> I swear to God. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I was so close to DNFing it. This book is, for one, the longest book. It, it, it Why? I saw it in person, and it was that big. I wish you know I would I mean? have seen it in person before I got it on my Kindle. Well, my only experience is opening up to the beginning of the, pa- uh, the, beginning of the book, and I couldn't get through the glossary. 20 is... pages and I said, of I'm gonna, glossary. I'm gonna come back. And... I, I read it because I didn't know not sure. to. So I'm reading it and I'm like, okay, this word means this thing. I mean, you literally have to learn another language. And then it opens after that with like the story of the gods and how this world came to be. Yep. And I was like, okay, I love gods. Yeah, yeah. This is like right up my alley. I'm like, all right. And then the story becomes about this uh, teenage assassin girl who is the whiniest, dumbest girl I've ever met on planet Earth. And it's not it's, good when you don't like the main character. And, and you know when people talk about like, I don't really care about the writing. It's all about the vibes. Well, in this book, the writing is the most pretentious thing. Like, I usually don't care how good the writing is as yeah. long as I'm in the story and I'm sure. feeling it. Why did this girl take like the most, it's like she had a thesaurus next to her and she was like, how can I describe the light hitting this beam with 30 words? It was words that I've never used. I didn't know what half of them meant. And I was like, am I an idiot? Like, because I feel like, what? And I kept going back going like, is this one of those words I need to know? Yeah. No. Oh, no. She's just being pretentious. Okay. Thank you. Um, the female main character is so annoying. The male character, he's fine. There are dragons. I just, I really couldn't wrap my head around the world. I couldn't visualize what I was reading. It was slow. So slow. And reading it on a Kindle, I had to keep going back to this glossary. <laughs> I was like, I don't get this world. And I kept asking my friends that were giving it five stars, like, does it get better? Yeah. Because I'm 400 pages in and I I don't I don't even know what's happening right now. Sure. But if you were to tell me like, oh yeah, but the back half, you're going to just fly, fly through. through. And one of my friends, I won't name you, but if you're watching this, I blame you, said get 50% in and it takes off. Am I? What? The, the flight was delayed. I will say the ending picked up the not 50%, I'd say 90% because oh. that was still another, you know, 100 pages. Um, picked up a little bit and to the point that I was like, I guess, but uh, 2.5 stars for me. Like, I will not read the second one. I will likely, it's it's now been moved down to the it very It takes a lot for me to really not like a book. Yeah. I did not. And, and I don't, yeah. get, the writing is just... And it's not even like, mm, you don't like this style of writing because 
I've read plenty of other books with this style of sure. writing. Divine Rivals being a prime example. Yeah. She's a very lyrical very writer. Very lyrical writer. And it was beautiful. And at no point was I confused on what was happening. It didn't come off pretentious. This felt like she wanted to Did use Did it feel every like you were word. reading a textbook? It felt like homework. It felt like homework. When you have to have the glossary, it's like, how am I supposed to commit 20 pages to memory? I know. I saw, I saw one it. person on TikTok say, the best thing to do if you're reading on your Kindle is just like print off the glossary so you can have it next to you. No, girl. Like, I, I eventually got to the point where I just stopped going back because it just was too annoying to constantly have to come out of the story to go figure out what I'm reading. No. 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 Pass. Wow. No. <laughs> Pass. And it took me like three days to really get through this because I it just couldn't take it. Pass. Gross. Moving on to romances. Oh, yeah. That's where I found my love. <laughs> You're in your cowboy era a little I'm bit. I'm in my cowboy era. I finally, finally decided it's time for Elsie Silver because... Hallelujah. Wow. I don't know. Because I had run, I had read Done and Dusted, yeah. Swift and Sailed, loved it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why I didn't continue down that road. But yeah. Here you I am. You enjoyed that avenue and there you are. Oh my God. Like, Elsie, you naughty little. And mix. that's what I mean. Like, I never would have thought in a million years you say cowboy romance. Like, no. Gross. No, no, thank you. I'm all set. No, I had read a few. Um, like 10 years ago and it was a lot of like um they went you know country line dancing which they do do some two step in it <laughs> but i was just like oh not for me um this girl could give megan quinn a run for her money yeah i feel like, like the two of them would be best friends probably dude like mm-hmm. they exchange notes i will say shorter than megan quinn mm-hmm. which is nice yep. um but just as dirty. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, for those of you that have read, there's I, what is there three different like three cowboy series. series? Three series. The Wild Love, I think, is not just starting. Is right? just starting, and it's not technically considered cowboy. It's more of a single dad. Series okay, fair, is fair, because it wasn't really cowboyish. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Um, so I I read Chestnut Springs. Poof, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I love it so much. Okay, so there's five. And you've read them all, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's five. Um, what was your favorite one? Oh, gosh. So the first one's like a bull rider. Yep. And his agent's daughter. Yep. The second one is a single dad and his nanny. <laughs> I liked Kate and Willa a lot. The third one is actually a hockey player. Yep, Jasper. And, and Sloan, Sloan, which is yeah. like a cousin that's like actually not very no cowboy no, really no. happening they here. just they go to the ranch they just go to the ranch yeah. the fourth one is a accidental pregnancy yep. trope with theo another bull and, rider yep theo and winter and winter who is the sister of summer summer from the first one summer and winter summer and winter and then we have the fifth one which is bow and bailey, Bo and, bailey. and mm. wow i just like mm-hmm. Loved them all so much. Do you have a favorite? Put them in order. What's your order? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I would probably say Kate and Willa. Mm-hmm. And then Bo and Bailey. Mm-hmm. And then probably Theo Okay. in Winter. Uh-huh. I really liked that book. I do not like Accidental Pregnancy, but I loved Theo so yeah. much. Theo's Sometimes... Hot. The male can just yeah. carry the Theo's, book for you. Theo's my little mama's boy. Not my favorite. Yeah. Um, and then I think I like Jasper and Sloan more than Summer and Rhett. Rhett. Okay. Yeah. Mine goes Kate and Willa. Yep. <laughs> I mean, damn, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. This one has got an age gap, and I usually don't like age gaps that are, like, yeah, too big. Um, uh-huh. The nanny trope, I was like, oh, uh-huh. okay. Uh, also, I like Willa, like, a lot. Okay, so Willa's it went Kate amazing. and Willa, and then it went Bo and Bailey. Another age gap. Who mm-hmm. is this girl? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, Bo has some PTSD and yes. some mangled body parts, but... Ooh, Ugh. I love oh, a, I love a fake dating 
Oh, I love it. It's the best. So much. I love it so much. Um, and do people then, fake date in real life? I don't. I don't know. You know? Can you imagine like proposing that in real life, especially an engagement, right? And like to your family. That seems so cruel to do to your family. I want to know. Like, I want to know, though. Are there those stories out there? Truly, is there anyone out there who knows anyone that has actually fake dated? Because I want to know. And how did it end? Correct. Because I'm convinced if you agree to fake dating, you want to date. Yeah. It's going to happen. Absolutely. Something's going to happen to either make you fall in love or Uh ruin your friendship Uh completely. Uh Okay, so those two. Then for me, I think it was Rhett and Summer. Okay. Because I love... Like a hotel or an inn where they have to be at. And then Sloan and Jasper. Yep. And then Winter and Theo at the end. Um, I can't with like pregnancies. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. And like all I could think of like when they were doing their like sexy scenes was like, is she still, she's still breastfeeding, right? Oh like weren't they just talking about her pumping? Like that's like all I could think was like, She's surely leaking. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought of through every single. Scene. I can see that ruining it for you a little bit. And then just like her, like her insecurity with her body. Yeah. Like I was like, I get that, but I don't want to read that. Like yeah. I lived that. Yeah, yeah. Lived it. Yeah. Don't need it. And also, I was just annoyed with her that like she kept the pregnancy from Theo. Yeah. Even though she like tried, but like maybe I, I don't know. Tried. Ask any of the but people that know so him. But then she's so proud. She's too proud. She thought that he got the message. I know. And wasn't interested. I know. All of these people just have... Uh, but you know whose story I really want? Can we just honestly talk for a second? I want Papa Harvey's story. I know. Oh, he's like my I love favorite. Harvey. And I was like, okay, all these boys have massive... Uh-huh. And I was like, what is Daddy Harvey like? It folds out. Yeah. It yeah. just rolls. Yeah. Because roll back up. Yeah. I, like love, I, I do love that in um, Bo and Bailey's Bailey's a virgin, and she's like, "So is this dick like, like big dick or like big big? <laughs> like, is this like normal or is this?" Big? He's like, "No, baby, it's like it's big normal. big." Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. like, yeah. "All I have to go off of this board." <laughs> but I will tell, say, and I told you this before: if anyone's read. The Chestnut Spring series. Yeah. And you want a little bit more. Yeah. Go on Elsie Silver's website and she has Christmas and Chestnut Springs. And is it spicy? Like, uh, do we get yeah, everyone's yes, like POVs? Yes. Yeah, there's a hot tub scene. There's So it jumps around POVs. It jumps, you, get, you get a chapter from each of the boys. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. from the boys. Yeah. I think the boys. I love yeah. the boys. Yeah. Like I was like, can I be part of this family? Right. Adopt me. Adopt me, please. Yeah, yeah, I actually absolutely. don't. I don't want to actually be related. To no, you no, no. I, I just want to proximity. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Is there a long lost brother out there somewhere? Right, or just like a, an adopted yeah brother, right. or like like, like Jasper. Theo? Jasper. Yeah. 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 That's Any. Fine. Anyways, what have you read? <laughs> uh, let's see. So I finally finished the Twisted series. Yeah. I still don't. I mean, it was fun. <laughs> It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. Um, I like the Kings of Sin way better. Same. Um, Twisted Lies, like the fourth one, yeah. was actually my favorite. I think. Wait, I haven't read Kings of Sin. That's like God of Wrath and yes, whatever. Yes, yes. yes. No, that's on yes. my TBR. Yes. Those are all billionaire romances. I do love a billionaire yeah, romance. Yeah, yeah. Those, I, yeah. I really like those. Um, I think I liked the fourth one the most because he's in... A lot of the Kings of Sin. Oh, so no way. I already had like an introduction to Christian Harper. Well, that makes me excited. Yeah. So um, that one I definitely liked way more than the rest of them. But uh, at least it's done. It's done. I checked it off the list. Yeah. <laughs> checked it off the list. Going through that too. And then I read two. So I get the probably smut box yeah. every month. And I've been really bad about reading the books that come in it. But one of them, I finally was like, I'm just going to read it. They're all on KU. And it's called Whistleblower by Kay Cove. Mm. She's very spicy. Um, it's a... I don't think I've heard of her. Yeah. It's a um, like FBI type Ooh. romance. Ooh. Like is, it, she, is it a dark romance? I don't... Tell me what, what classifies a dark romance. Uh, is there any murder happening? There's lots of murder. Lots <laughs> of people dying. Is she murdering? She's not... He's murdering. 
And is she trying to find him? Nope. She, they work together. Is, is, a uh, they work together. Yeah. Oh, so they're trying to find a murderer? Um, no. So, like, why don't I just... <laughs> okay, why don't you tell me? Why, why don't I just explain? You tell me the book and I'll be like, yeah. yes. Okay, so there is this secret off the book subset of the FBI that kind of takes care of things off the books mm-hmm. so that you know real Jason Bourne like yeah 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 no one knows about there's no there's no record of it sure but um they're getting funding from the FBI clearly <laughs> our uh the title whistleblower our female main character she is a whistleblower for this huge corporation that was basically um selling everyone's personal information and she found out about it and um basically has been getting death threats this that she ends up getting offered to come in and work as hr but she's like much more qualified than that and um so she comes in to kind of make them all work as a team because this like team of assassins is now merging with the fbi yeah so they want to like make it a team atmosphere sure (laughs) um so she falls in love with like the worst assassin right of course of course and um basically she's still getting um people are still trying to kill her so oh. then he's trying to protect her so is yeah. that a dark romance do you think uh, dark romance ish sure ish adjacent yeah it's probably as dark of a romance as i is would want to any read. like there's dark no, there's no guns in no, uh, <laughs> no. they're not all like that sarah <laughs> that's but that's my book <laughs> that's my frame of reference oh my god i saw a tiktok you probably saw it um Oh my god! Of the kid, the teacher, who said like, "What books have you guys been reading?" And it was like these kids are in middle school, middle school, and, and they're, they're like, like haunting, haunting Adeline, Adeline, Icebreaker. Yes, and I was like, oh, "What? No." Yeah, favorite books they've read. Oh my! God. And then someone in the comments was like, "I was in line at Barnes and Noble, and this." girl was with her dad and she had a stack of like very inappropriate books he clearly has no idea no idea because if you look at like icebreakers cover you're they like, got all oh, cartoon yeah, covers yeah. sure but haunting adeline you should that cover i mean it should raise some concerns but also that dad is probably just happy his child is reading absolutely <laughs> like he don't know but yeah holy crap mm-hmm. like i mean hunting and especially hunting also adeline, like our our children, as they get older, are I going know. to have access to like Kindle Unlimited. I know. And, and like, stuff. listen, I don't I, mind when you're a high schooler. Sure, sure. A high schooler. Yeah. And, and you're reading, I don't even know if I would want them reading dark romance. Yeah. But like, if you're reading a little bit of Bridgerton yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, or, you know, sure, like whatever, sure. you know, like, like my, my stepdaughter has read Bridgerton. She's read Fourth Wing, yeah. you know, whatever. But she's also yeah. just turned 18. Yeah. So, but yeah. like. Once we approach we're 18, gonna have to like, but it's like... It's going to be like, we're checking phones, and we're checking Kindles, and... Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. For me, I'm checking VR. <laughs> check what are you downloading? Uh, there's no part of me that thinks my son is reading. <laughs> no. No. But, yeah, anyways. But then, the other book that I read... <laughs> back to cowboy romances... Oh, you read another one? Yes. So tell this, me, tell me, It's tell called me. Crossroads by mm. Devney Perry, and I see people recommend her all the time. Wait, is it that ugly cover? No, it's this one. Oh, okay. These are the Elsie Silver that you're reading right now. That's but, what they look like? Well, no, because they're getting new covers. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I wanted to buy them because I love them so much. Yeah, yeah, the move. new covers, though, you should definitely get it. The okay. first one, they're come, re-releasing. Thank God. The first one just Because came out. those, like, men looking into women's awful, eyes. awful. 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 On a ranch. Candidate. Okay, so Crossroads by Danny okay. Perry. Okay. This is another like it takes place. I want to say Montana. Yeah, like on a ranch. It's always Wyoming, Montana. Yeah, mm. and this one um, or is a Canada or Can- Canada. Um, this is a time jump, so it goes back and forth like being oh, childhood, like yeah. second chance romance type type uh, deal, mm-hmm. and those can go either way for me. Yeah. Sometimes I absolutely hate them. If, but when they're done right. But when it's done right. Uh, I really like, enjoyed this one. Like Happy Place did it right for me. Yes. Now I know they're not going back to like childhood, childhood. Yeah. But like some of them can do it right. The other one that I that did that that I read was um, This Summer Will Be Different, The New Carly Fortune. Oh, I've heard it's really good. I really liked that one as a time jump too. I really like her writing. Yeah. I like her. Um, 
It's on. It's 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 on my list. Yep. Well, we have uh, twenty more days in June, so it'll get the. You know, I feel like I'm zooming. I know. Like if it wasn't for when the moon hatched, I'd feel like I'd be you doing would, better. You would be more than eleven books. But to be fair, I did have surgery, and I had I literally couldn't even get up to help yeah. with the kids, so yeah. I had nothing yeah. on my plate. Um, thanks, Corey. <laughs> Um, and now I don't have that excuse because I'm feeling fine. Yeah. Love so then her. you started Elsie Silver's other series? Wild Love? No. Oh, Golden Gold, Rush. Gold yeah. Rush. Gold Rush. Rush Ranch. Yes. I started the first one and then I was like, mm, not in the mood. And then I started what I'm reading now. No. What? No, you sent me Leather and Lark. Yes. That's what I read first. I, I got back Lark. into Leather and Lark. Well, okay. Well, let's talk about Leather and Lark. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I had high hopes for this one. Listen, okay, so this is the follow-up to Butcher and Blackbird by, uh, what's her name, Lynn Weaver? Is that right? Bryn Weaver. Bryn, Bryn Weaver. Um, and I loved Butcher Obsessed. and Blackbird. Obsessed, yeah. Like, shockingly five stars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Leather and Lark was just, I mean, it was fine, but kind of a disappointing follow-up to it. Would you agree? Yeah, I wish that she, like, revealed what she was earlier i agree i agree and i do feel like without giving anything away the pizza scene was just trying to be the ice cream scene you know what i mean it was like oh we had one shocking yeah. food scene let's yeah. have another shocking it worked food way scene. better worked the way one. better in the first one and also and it came too early I it think. came way too early the the in the first one the ice cream scene was shocking shot like you did not didn't see, see it coming. coming but with this one she actually opened her book with like a thing, so you it's knew a in pizza the scene, like a de- so you knew it was coming. I also just didn't feel the connection between the the leads the way I did yeah. in the first one. Yeah, um, uh, I did like I did like something. It wasn't a bad book. I did no, like no, no. some things. I did like the like the opening scene to like picturing her as. Um, Harley Quinn yes. <laughs> just like yes. running someone off the that road awesome. like a crazy person like like I thought the whole like the uh, tokens thing was yep. really good yep 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 um but yeah they just uh I feel like it kind of missed the mark for me unfortunate yeah who is the third book I don't know following I don't know oh the, third brother. the, third, brother, oh, the third brother third brother um but I don't know who the girl will girl? be the girl who said that she loved him oh probably I mean, I Maybe. felt nothing for that. I know. I know. So, I know. Where this one I was excited for. I was like, oh, I obviously know a little bit about what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I just also kind of felt like her motive wasn't as great as, the, like, it was like, well, you already had someone kill for you, and now you're just going to yeah. decide to take it up? Like, yeah. I don't know. It, it felt just a little forced. It did. It did. It didn't feel natural. No, the first one had me laughing and gagging. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, absolutely. Kind of giggling, like, through disgusted, it. And disgusted, but enthralled still enthralled. And th- yeah, time. completely like yeah. loving. Like I feel like sometimes people give a lot of recommendations to people for dark romance that, and they go right to Haunting Adeline and some of these ones that are just too dark. Yeah. I'm like, okay, if you've Blackbird. never read dark romance before, mm-hmm. you've never read, like, killing or, you know, some sexual things that are really putting it out there, like, this is the this is the stepping stone. Absolutely. Because if you don't like that, you're definitely not going to like... Correct. Sin- ...haunting Adeline and, like, the ritual and some of these yeah. ones that are just so dark. No, I think that's a good stepping stone. It's like, a good stepping stone. Dip um, your toes To in me, and this... And especially because it is, to me, more of a comedy book than it is, like, a... Absolutely. You yeah. know, crazy, dark oh, yeah. thing. I yeah. mean, is there murder? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, a lot sure of murder. Is. Sure is. But what I will say, and with most dark romance, the murderer is usually also murdering bad people it's they're not helpful. just like willy-nilly yeah. breaking into yeah. houses yeah. murdering people and that always is helpful when you got a little dexter aspect correct. to it correct where you're like yeah. oh well they're just murdering other horrible people oh that's good so dexter murders bad people oh yes okay did you not know that no nope. so dexter is a serial killer who only murders other serial killers oh so very much like very dexter much like that but he works for um he's a blood splatter analysis so he goes to the scenes of these crimes 
and it's like he figures out who the killer is before mm. and but doesn't give that evidence to mm-hmm. as he should and he's like oh i'm gonna kill and he takes care of it takes care of it but he also does a lot of research um makes sure that they're Got like it. You know, he finds out everything about yeah. him. And then he sets up a murder room for him with, like, all the pictures of his victims. And there's, like, you know, plastic crap everywhere. And, and he's hot. <laughs> Which yeah, helps. Okay. What? He's a hot murderer and a dad. He's a dad, too. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Let me just say, the fourth season of Dexter might possibly be the best season of television I've ever watched. Period. Like, there's Game of Thrones season one. But there's Dexter season four. Was Dexter, is Dexter HBO? Yeah. Showtime. 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 I don't have Showtime. I do. You can have it. I mean, okay. shh. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Who quit? Showtime. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. Moving on. What else? You said you read other boys. What other boys? Oh, I, so I read the third um, in the, what's it called? Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, yeah. Cytonic. Okay. How so many, how many like, books are in that there's series? There's four. Okay. So the last one's Defiant. Um. It was good. I'm glad that I got into it. I was just... When you read a series, do you take breaks in between each book or do you just go through the series? Usually, no. But I have found myself um, with some of these series that maybe they're not completely pulling me in right away. Yeah. I feel like okay with taking a break. Is that how you feel about Brandon Sanderson? That's what I feel about Brandon Sanderson. And like, it's so... How is his writing? Because if you haven't heard of Brandon Sanderson... You Very easy be, to understand. He's Very uh, commonly known as the number one fantasy yeah, yeah, author yeah. of all time. So, like, compared to reading, like, a uh, Game of Thrones, like, Ugh. I found Game of Thrones much more difficult to understand. Oh, God. Please. If you would have said this was harder, to have no, been no, no, out. No, no, no. And this is very, this is, like, a YA series. Okay. Um, there is, like, a little bit of a romance. Yeah, I don't much. think many of his have um, romance in them. But very... AI centric again. Oh my god, you're on a you're on I'm a on roll. an AI kick, yeah. apparently. It's bad, it's bad. <laughs> but uh there's like some very cute side characters that he writes. Like the the AI, like Mbot is like oh, the little I like robot. That name. <laughs> and uh he's amazing. He says like the funniest things. There's a lot of comedy. Is the world building it. easy? Or yeah, yeah. Or I th- I think it's very easy to get into. People really love Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. Um, I will say, men who like fantasy generally, Brandon Sanderson yeah. is their go-to. I feel like Mistborn. I will eventually read. I feel like that's the one that everyone talks about. That's the one that's on my TBR, just because it's the one that I watched his TikTok, and he was yeah. like, "If you were starting, this is what I'd say. Yeah, to start with. He has so many books, like so many books." Um, but I find myself like, I just need the break of romance or the break of like, I need a fantasy romance. I need. Do I read Wheel of Time? Which you like Brandon the show. Sanderson. I do like the show. He ended up taking over the series for the author. Who wrote it initially? No idea. Couldn't tell you. Um, but it started with one person and then he ended up um, either taking over it or co-writing it and, and whatnot. Um and I really like the show, but I, I what I mostly love, I'm going to be totally honest, is when I see people's bookshelves and they got the whole Wheel of Time. There's so many. Thing that I'm like, that looks book so set. good. Robert, Robert Jordan. Jordan. Then he took over at what point? Like how many books? My uh, God. You'd have to Google that one for me. Uh, he's a co-author for the final three, it says. Final three. Okay. Yeah. Um... But other than that, I have, like, no knowledge of Brandon Sanderson besides that he was involved in Wheel of Time. I mean, I have, like, Tress of the Emerald Sea sitting on my shelf. I have, uh, have I don't know, the Frugal Wizard's handbook sitting on my bookshelf. And those are both standalones, I think. Yeah. I mean, I liked the cover. I have to, like, I have to put myself in a mindset. I have to definitely be in the right mood to read it. Yeah. Because otherwise it just feels like it's a slog. Good to know. Okay, what else you got? Yeah, yeah. Um, I read Five Broken Blades. Yeah. Okay. So I just decided I'm going to do that as an audiobook because I have a free audiobook, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I hate audiobooks. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. My ADHD cannot yeah handle it, and everything sounds really cheesy to me in audiobook style. But I have a free one. <laughs> so. Yeah, and there's no um. I'm trying to think. It's not like it's not. But I've heard this is a good anything, audiobook one because yeah, there's, there's like multiple different voices. Um, voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and I really liked it. Um, I like where it's going. The setup for book two. It makes me like it's one that I will definitely. What? What? Uh, five star? Four star? Three like star? A, like a four point five. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. high rating. Yeah, yeah, high rating, high rating. I really, I flew through it in like a day. Um, it was one of those ones that was very mixed on Book Talk, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a same mystery. With there's like again, there's like a big twist at the end, yeah. which I did not see. I didn't coming. even know it was part of a series. No, I did know that because I just saw the next one was gonna be called Four Something Something. Four Something Realms, maybe. Yeah, Four Something Something. I, I feel like I'm making that up. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. It is a. a a beautiful book obviously yeah but i like that the chapters are quick and they're you're constantly switching povs perfect and it's a mystery there's a bunch of different assassins that are all coming together for one joint cause they need to kill the king and um i do love an assassin storyline no one trusts anyone and so as a reader you don't know who you should trust Who's lying? Who's not? Okay, so that was the thing that I heard was the most like, mm, but there's really only two people that it could really like. <laughs> so I was like, well, I don't know. I'll I just f- go into it and also, I'll read it. I feel like people think about things more in depth, way more in depth than I do. Like I'm just along for just the ride. Along for the ride. So fine. When you're I don't so care. invested in a story, though, you're probably just reading fat too fast to like stop and be like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah. The only times I've done that where I've been like, what, truly one that sticks out in my mind was Nesta getting more tired walking up the stairs or down the stairs than up the stairs. And I was like, does she not know how stairs work? <laughs> like, why would you run down those stairs until you burn out? And, and then you have like, to get oh, back up. I can't go any further. And then just walks up a thousand steps. Like, what? My brain was seriously like, has Sarah... Janet ever does met have, a stair? Does she have no staircases? <laughs> like, she lives in a one level? It was the only time I've really been taken out of a story where I had to set it down and go, no. <laughs> like, that's not how stairs work. Um, though, actually, you know what? I may be lying. Maybe there was a DNF, but I don't know if I consider it a DNF. I don't even know what the book's called, but it was like a hockey romance that I, th- I think it was one that we got at Spicy Saturday. Oh, no. Um, maybe I'll go back to it. I don't know, but... She calls him hotshot about 75 times in the well, first I don't like, like two a chapters. Nickname that's like, overused. I got to I was like, I can't read it one more time. I can't I, I gotta read something else. But like speaking of a nickname, when Bo and Bailey were like trying to come up with nicknames, you kept calling her sugar tits. I was like, please let this be the nickname. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm um, glad that they're so recent in your brain because I read them. So, so long recent ago. in my brain. Like I literally just finished that one yesterday. <laughs> yeah. What else is have you read? Um, so, well, I read When the Moon Hatch, uh, the five, no, six Elsie Silver yep. books. I read Leather and Lark. Oh, I'm right now I'm reading, um. Spark of the Everflame. Spark of the Everflame. It's Who's so. Who's that? Pen Cole? Is that Yes. Right? It's, wow, impressive. I never know authors. I, it's just, I can see the book in my head. Yeah. yeah. No, I am obsessed with it. I'm only like 40% it right now but that's pretty far in to know if you're like, enjoying it do you know what i mean really I, you know what i love i love a fantasy where the girl what is it about okay so it's it's about th- this girl who th- there's there's the descendant the, they're like the the really powerful like almost godlike okay. um people and then there's the mortals yep um and they're very distinct looking they have like super blue eyes everybody else has like brown eyes mm-hmm. but this girl has gray eyes and bleach blonde hair and everyone's like wait you look different than us and she's like i had a childhood illness and um now i take this medicine mm-hmm. and i'm fine everybody knows uh and her mom goes missing and it's as more like goes, she's like where'd her mom go she had witnessed this conversation between her mom who's a healer and this really hot guy who's mm-hmm. a descendant of course um and she's also a healer and she's starting to find out more and more about Love like a healer her dad maybe isn't really who her dad is maybe she is 
part half Ooh. one thing or another okay. she's powers are now that she stopped taking the medicine to suppress everything powers are starting to so descendants have powers mortals do not correct and she's starting to figure out uh um, but she lives with her mortal healer mother well her mom was taken oh but her yes. mom was taken yes okay. and she lives with her dad um who her was dad. like yep king of an army like he's really badass but he's retired now so he's taught her how to fight too okay um and uh i love a storyline he's like randall yes i love a storyline where someone has power and they don't know they have power and it starts to like emerge and that like everything that they thought they knew is like totally wrong okay um and this is a series right yeah and i'm just really into the main girl okay perfect and i'm really into the cat that's refreshing after when the moon hatched yes like i'm actually feeling my cheeks like yeah you're getting a Um, little little flush mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay uh again i just picture everybody as henry cavill sure okay that's why another but i think the writing is just so good that i can easily visualize everything it gripped me right away from the beginning. I I do love a, I do love a healer, for a healer Absolutely. that also has power. Yeah. Um. And of course, there's like the king is gonna die, and who's supposed to take? Like the most powerful person is supposed to take. And of course, I can kind of see where it's going. Sure. Everyone says it's supposed to be his nephew, of our main male character, but it's probably going to be our female yeah. main character yeah. right like yeah. hello i've read a i've read yeah. a book or yeah, two we know how this is we know go. how this is gonna go um but i haven't gotten there yet so she's still just kind of discovering everything about herself um right now well and i may have to bump that one up the list it's so good i haven't felt this way about a book in a long time so i'm hoping it just keeps going and it doesn't like peter out but it's gonna have to be for next week because i really have to <laughs> reread a fate okay in we blood. have to reread a, so our book club this this week is a fate ancient blood which we recommended yeah that this be the book club yeah book, yeah yeah and neither of us can remember it anymore <laughs> i can remember i can remember a few things yeah if you ask me to put the plot like on a timeline of when things happen have no idea I'm just kind of now remembering why everybody wants her. Before, I couldn't even remember, like, what is her deal? Shield but, uh, she's a shield maiden. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, cobwebs so are coming like, yeah, off. I know. Brain. We were talking about certain things. It'll come. It'll come. But I think I need to reread it. Because mm-hmm. if there's trivia at this book club, I'm out. I know. And I I need to do better. I know. I've really been like, whatever. Kate's going to win anyways. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> Kate, we, Kate, we know you, you always win. I mean, she you does. Have, you have that photogenic brain and it's, it's hard, not fair. How do you compete with someone with a photogenic memory? It's like, okay. It's not fair. It's not fair. Show us your secrets. You know. But anyways. What else have you read? Anything else? Oh, you know what? I read a couple books by... This is a positive Spicy Saturday Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chelsea Curto. Yeah. That we met. So I had read um, on camera, like yeah. caught on camera. Yeah. I liked that one. I read that like a couple months ago. I right? really like the cover. That's such a cute cover. And too. that one I really liked because he was like in his mid 40s. She was like almost 40. It's like it's nice to read a yeah. romance where they're like they're older. They're a little older. Yeah. And then this behind the camera, that was the one that I think that I had bought. I think. Mm. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But it was on KU. And I was like, oh, well, you know what? I was like poking around. Are we going to go to Spicy Saturday? We should. We should. There's one in July. Yeah. um, I know a lot of them now. I know. (laughs) Um, But I want to read T.S. Kinsley. Yes. Um, They have a Peter Pan, like, spicy series. And I didn't know much about it. I've read a few Peter Pan um, ones. But uh theirs is way spicier like okay. the way they were talking about it on this panel i was like i'm sold also laura um how do you say her last name linear laurier luna laurier luna laurier thank you um she might be the sweetest person i've ever met in my life but also her book sounds right up our alley like right up our alley also her artwork is full nude like sure is. full shows all the things when i went to um that has to go in a drawer that the kids do not go okay in. so so at market for uh alexia events um had a starfall ball and she had a setup she had a full body length pillow <laughs> 
a guy <laughs> with if you, folder If you jeans. want to snuggle. Yes. Yes. That's hilarious. And I was like, um, this is the Corey was like, I feel really sad about myself right now. Is that to scale? I know. I was like, oh my God. Girl, like it's oh my God. like dirty. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm and she's you, so cute because she's pregnant. Like spice, about to pop. Spicy Saturday is no joke. Spicy they, Saturday is no joke. She's very spicy too. Chelsea. The artwork. Yes. They bring artwork like yes. I've never seen. Artwork I think, you can't put I think online. one of hers was like maybe the one on like the couch from behind. Yes. Yes. There was like one. Mm-hmm. I can't remember which author had it, but there was like a shower scene. Then I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, this is artwork you can't put online, people. No. 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 I had to, like, I had to hide this from my children. Mm-hmm. Like, for sure. Mm-hmm. Especially my son. Uh-huh. <laughs> 13 year old boy. All of a sudden, you go in there and, and it's he's just like, I'm, I'm reading. <laughs> Sorry. So, this um, behind the camera. Yeah. It's, um, so the, fr- the first book that I read is, like, the coach of an NFL team and, like, one of his friends that they end up, they're friends and friends to lovers. Uh, this book follows his niece mm. who becomes a team photographer and the kicker on the team oh, who is that. a single dad. Wow. She becomes the nanny. I love, why do I love nanny things so much? You know, a nanny and he's like a millionaire. It's like, like it's the like, role playing part of this girl just is yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. I used, no, I'm not going to go into yeah. that story, but yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like so I love, it, That I love ended it. up being awesome. And you get introduced to his friends and he has friends. One of them is going to get the next book in that series. He's like the social media manager for the team. Mm-hmm. And then another one of his friends who lives in the building is a hockey player. Mm. And so then I just saw that she had a new release and it was called Face Off. I, I wonder if she'll be there. And that's by... Are you going to buy? I, I wonder if she'll be at Spicy Saturday. I'll probably buy that because yeah. I really enjoyed it because it follows his friend who's the hockey player and... This girl comes on. She's the first female NHL player. Oh, I love that. And her name's Emerson. And so he, like, he, you know, didn't do the research. He's the captain. He didn't do the research that he was supposed to come in and meet this new player. Mm -hmm. And she's standing outside the office. He hits on her, like, is so gross. And she's like, yeah, I'm your new teammate. Yeah. And then, but it's kind of like... He, you know that he's a good guy already because you met him in the other book. Yeah. And then the whole time he basically is infatuated with her and loves her like from the start and she's so prickly. I love it. And that was, it was really good. It was really good. It only works like that when the girl is prickly because when the girl falls in love and the guy is an ass, it doesn't work. It does not. It does not It does not. I, uh, it doesn't work at all. I love a golden retriever boy. Oh, give me Absolutely. a cinnamon roll all day. Absolutely. All day. We really should probably start reading some authors that are going to be at Romantic Yeah, we should. Yeah, we um, should. Although I think a lot of these Spicy Saturday ones are going to be there too. Yeah, we're, we should make a list and just start just checking start them off. Just start checking them off. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, halfway you, through the book, halfway yeah, no. through the month, and we oh have already gosh. read a thousand books. I know, but like, <laughs> there's some big releases coming. Dude, June. June. Like, not, today? Not only for books, but TV, too. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? We're not leaving the you house, guys, I'm apparently. You such a loser. All I do is read and watch TV. So, the new Allie Hazelwood comes out today. Yeah. Oh, today. Today. Yeah. Not in love. Catherine Center's Rom-Commers comes out today. I really want to read that. Yeah, it was, I arc read it, I really and it was, I love her. I love her, her writing. Um, we got Megan Meg Quinn. Quinn. Yeah. So I got, I'm going to, I, I got to reread the rest of the Agitator series. Because oh, I got to get ready. Shucks. Huh. Dude, these Canadian, like, oh. series, they're doing the dang thing. Oh my God. And there's another big one. Oh, Love Unwritten, the lauren asher series i really liked that first one that one comes out i think the leather and lark was like one i was really excited for that came out this month and i know <laughs> i'm i'm ho- i have i have high hopes oh tangled in you that's... oh i read that as an arc it's really cute that one comes out this month Christina yeah it's really cute it's lauren a... yeah it's a uh like a rapunzel retelling it's Perfect. cute see spark of the Flame. it's on it's my tbr so good i'm gonna have to add it when the moon hatched i should probably take it off Oh, Novel Love Story by Ashley Poston. I oh. love her. I don't think that you've read, I you haven't read Dead by. Romantics or Seven Year Slip. Mm-mm. And I think you would like both of them. Okay. Yeah. 
don't know. There's here's like a good idea. If it's been around for a few years, I'm probably never gonna get to it. Like if it's been in my TBR for Cruel Prince has been in my TBR for forget ever. It. Am forget I it. ever gonna read it? It's sitting on my bookshelf. Will I ever read it? Part of me wonders now, like, Once it goes on here, there's a good chance I I enjoyed those books so much years ago when I read them. And now if I reread them, I wonder because I've read so much other fantasy, like, how I would feel about it. I know. I know. I think about that about some of the romances that I love. So, like, these series that we're talking about, like, where you just eat them up. That was me with Rosemary Beach and um, Hearts Boardwalk. Yeah. And I wonder now if I read them. If they stand up. If they would stand up. Because I remember them. I remember thinking they were spicy at the time. But now I've read some uh, crazy spice that I'm like, would they be so tame? <laughs> I, don't I, know. Know. I know. I don't know. I'm telling you. I think I had you read one book um, where, did I? Did I have you read the On Dublin Street I series. did read that. I read one of those books. Was it spicy? Because at the time, I remember thinking, he's teaching her how to have sex. This is spicy. It was. But I don't know if I would read it now, if I would think it was. It doesn't stick out to me that it was overly so. Yeah. Like, but at the time, I was like, he's literally teaching her how to have sex. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is so hot. Yeah, it was. No, I don't remember. Again, being, another, like, like crazy. best friends that are, like, friends with benefit. That's, that's, you know... I definitely think Fake you, we've seen like the like erotic kind of it's morph really having into a romance. Surgeons, yeah. So you're gonna see. I think that the line is melding a little bit more. Yeah, it's no more like Daniel Steele yeah. and then romance. It's Correct. like all becoming yeah. spicy, spicy. Yeah. I wonder if we'll get to a point where I'll get so spiced out that I'm like, I'm overspiced. I feel like I do at some point. Like especially if I read a book, you know, when it just has too much. Three or four too many scenes. Yeah. I think three sex scenes is a great. After yeah. that, I'm like kind of skipping through them to get back know to the I story. You know what I enjoy when they do is you have the few scenes and then they still have those moments, but you don't go into detail about them. You just let us know that they happened. I think that's why I liked Bo's story so yeah. much is they didn't, they worked up to the side. They did a bunch mm-hmm. of other little things. Yeah. That lead up to that. And yeah. I like I like the slow burn of yeah. it. Yeah. And then when they finally do have it, it's like crazy. Yeah. And that's what I think of when I think of Megan Quinn. Yes. Is she does a good job of like. Oh my God. The one I just read by her, which you read a while ago, I think. Um, Runaway Groom. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that one, it took forever. Forever. And I was like, this is very un-Megan Quinn-like. Yeah. Like nothing happens. And then it was fine. But it's no hockey series. It it isn't. Uh, I did not expect the. I didn't realize there was an Alzheimer's. Um, oh yeah. Side story, and yeah. that one really. Yeah. Really killed me. Same. Um, same. So, but I appreciated it. Yeah. And so I will say, Megan Quinn is one of the only spicy authors that can somehow still make me cry yeah. in a spicy book. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how she yeah, does she pa- that. She packs a lot of emotions. Oh my god, like, he's not my type. I found myself blubbering uh-huh. at the end. I was like, what uh-huh. is happening? Yeah. That should be a book club book. I'm still convinced. Maybe next month. But I'm also like, now I'm like, Elsie Silver would be fun and I can make it like super cowboyed out. Like, you know, handsome. Oh, can absolutely. Can I rent a bull to ride? I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> Do you want to have surgery again? True. <laughs> True, true, true. I'll figure out something Maybe else. Maybe we can just find some horns. Some brooms for the know. horse. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. But yeah, that would be hot. A hot book, I think, to read. Yeah. I think we need some rom-com palette cleanser books yeah. in there, too. Yeah. I would have been reading that. some heavy ones. Yeah. Anyways. This one, this turn to fantasy will be, yeah. will be interesting. Yeah. See how everyone likes it. Well, this was an hour long podcast. It sure was. Again, we're like, we're like what are we going to talk about? A month, a month worth of not recording, though. Yeah, we had a lot to catch up on. Yeah, um, the summer should be interesting because we have a lot of things going on this summer. Yeah, no, I don't know how we're going to do this. No, but um, we will do our best to do our best. If there's a week that we're not on, so sorry. <laughs> So sorry. We're gonna we're gonna try our best, but you know we can only keep the kids uh, entertained and quiet I know, I'm for so long. Surprised. I know we haven't heard any big thumps, no screams, nothing. 
They mm. may be on the stairs listening to us. They could be us. listening to all know. of our inappropriate uh, conversations. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we're worried about their their Kindle usage. <laughs> they're like, they're over here. They're over there like, Bridgerton? What'd she say about icebreakers? <laughs> C-O-C-K? What? I heard the name Adeline oh. somewhere in there. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Anyways. We're good parents. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Cool. Well... Thanks for tuning in, and uh, make sure to follow us on all of our socials. And we're going to be doing a giveaway soon. We so are. Definitely. I I definitely have that ready to put. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Look out stay for that tuned. giveaway. Uh-huh. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Bye.